This car, I think, is a bit like Jordan. I can see why they did it. Bit of a laugh, but I think they've gone too far. I think it's all just a bit too silly. Oh, damn it. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution is one of the most coveted Japanese vehicles ever. It has an impressive driving dynamics and a compelling history. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evo doesn't have such a name just because it sounds cool. In reality, the name tells the perfect story of how the iconic vehicle came to be. The Lancer Evo emerged after Mitsubishi's rally team was forced to downsize their competition car thanks to new regulations, and they did it by sticking the components of their class a gallant rally car inside the Lancer's smaller chassis. This resulted in a literally evolved version of the original Lancer, hence the new Lancer Evolution name. Class of rules also meant that Mitsubishi had to produce 2,500 road car versions of the Lancer Evo that had to be sold to the public, and that's how it all began. The Evo would go on to live out a 24-year production, run on its way to becoming one of the most iconic JDMs ever. After 10 generations and iconic appearances in movies like Fast and Furious, The production of the Lancer Evolution was finally halted in 2016, yet the older models are still highly desirable and make for immensely fun and rewarding projects. Here's why the Evo is the best Mitsubishi sports car ever. The Lancer Evo has a magnificent engine. From the get-go, the engine Mitsubishi decided to fit to the Evo was a 2.0-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder with 244 horsepower, known as the 4G63T, and it would continue to live inside all. But the last generation of the Lancer Evolution, the legendary engine comes with a dual overhead cam setup and produces plenty of boost. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The most enticing aspect of the 4G63T engine is how welcoming it is to mods and tuning. Which can easily see it make close to 1,000 horsepower. The engine would go on to receive several revisions and improvements over the years but the basics remain the same throughout, and any version is more than worthy. Mitsubishi tuned the Evo's chassis to perfection. Aside from a fantastic powertrain, every iteration of the Lancer Evolution also boasted immense chassis capabilities, starting with racing suspension and standard all-wheel drive on all generations. However, just as the engine received upgrades as the years went by, the Evo's chassis received the exact same treatment. For the fourth generation or the Lancer Evo IV, Mitsubishi added active yaw control, AYC, to the vehicle's transmission, which allowed the ECU to determine how much power to send to each individual wheel, depending on the circumstance. This upgrade didn't just make the road Evos better, it also helped Mitsubishi's rally team win various titles in a row. Later on, the Lancer Evolution 7 received a further enhanced transmission with an active center differential pair to the AYC, meaning it could send power exclusively to the rear wheels on demand to facilitate drifting. The Mitsubishi Racing Lancer Evo FQ variants are insane. Alongside the release of the Lancer Evolution 8, Mitsubishi unveiled several special editions that offered increased capabilities, and the legendary Mr. FQ variants were chief among them. They had bigger turbos and revised internals in what resulted in a magnificent end product that could take on some of the toughest supercars at the time. taking the Evo name to a whole other level that nobody thought it was capable of. The most insane FQ variant came in the form of the Evo XMR FQ440, which was specially made for the British market 
In celebration of Mitsubishi's four decades of operations in the UK, the FQ440 made 440 horsepower and 412 pound-feet of torque thanks to an ECU remap, upgraded fuel injectors, and improved intercooling. Only 40 FQ440 seconds were ever made. To summarize, the Lancer Evolution isn't just Mitsubishi's most iconic car ever, it's also one of the most sought after JDMs as a whole. It's the definition of a driver's car, and no matter the model year, or generation, or even when you're watching this, the Evo will undoubtedly continue to provide joy to the lucky few that get the chance to own one. put his wiper on a loser a loser